Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. Jesse Nelson has been accused by a top record producer of using an impersonator to sing her part in a huge little mix hit. It has been claimed that the singer opted to use a sound alike for her parts in the band's big dance collaboration with Nathan Daw, No Time for Tears. One of the record's writers and producers, Trey Jean Marie, has made the sensational claim that Jezzy opted out of part of the recording process, which took place just before she decided to quit the girl group for good. The track was eventually released mere days before Jezzy walked out on the group with Trey revealing that Jezzy was already over it when it came to adding her vocals to the song. Sharing a post marking the song gaining a gold certification for shipments of 400,000 units, Trey said in an Instagram story. Fun fact, all of Jezzy's BVs, background vocals, and even some of the leads, on No Time for Tears are somebody else impersonating her because she was quite literally over it. Trey co-produced the track with superstar DJ Nathan Daw, who was credited as the lead artist, as well as being the song's official vocal producer. A mystery vocalist named Neve Murphy is credited on the song for background vocals with Jezzy and her band Mantis Jade Thirlwall. Perry Edwards and Leon Pinnock all being credited with main vocals. Trey did not identify Neve as being the vocalist who imitated Jezzy's voice on the Top 20 hit. Appearing to add fuel to the fire, Nathan later shared a cryptic message on X, formerly Twitter, which some interpreted as his way of confirming the reports surrounding Jezzy. He shared a cryptic eyes looking emoji followed by a crying with laughter face in an apparent response to the claims. One fan went on to ask the hitmaker to spill all on Jezzy's phantom vocals on the hit song. Our channel has contacted a representative for Jezzy Neslin for comment. The track was the last to ever feature Jezzy as a member of the group after she opted to leave suddenly in December 2020. It even scuppered plans for an official music video with the four girls as the band's messy breakup behind the scenes prevented any of them from starring in the clip. Instead, Nathan appeared in the music video where a selection of wannabes are seen comedically auditioning for a role in the song's video. During the time of the song's release, Jezzy confirmed in an Instagram statement that she had quit Little Mix after nine years with a heavy heart. Speaking at the time, she said, The truth is being in the band has really taken a toll on my mental health. I find the constant pressure of being in a girl group and living up to expectations very hard. It meant promotion for the track was limited with Jezzy having already missed out on a number of engagement in the weeks prior to her departure owing to medical reasons, according to the band's spokesperson.